My name is Courtney Atkins, and this is my introductory speech. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Everyone has heard this expression before, but have any of you ever put it to use? I'll bet if you look at the person sitting next to you for 10 seconds, you would find many things about them that you would like to change. But why? Everyone is different from you. Does that make them broken? I was born early in the morning on March 10, 1996. That day, and for a while, things seemed normal. But then, my parents started to notice that I was acting strange. Like while watching television, I was felt my head to the side. And after examining me, they noticed that my eyes were all centered. I was cross-eyed. So at the age of nine months, I had my first eye surgery. And things seemed better. Until my parents started to notice that my right eye was now off center. I had a lazy eye. So before starting elementary school, I had one more surgery. It was less than successful. And for half a day, I had to wear a patch over my left eye. Was that embarrassing? Definitely. And did I get picked on? More and more each year. I slowly began to hate myself and my condition. But that was only because of the things people would say to me and about me. I changed schools in the third grade. And things were great for a while. That was, until people noticed my eye. And then the bullying started all over again. But this time, it was ten times worse. As I grew up, the things people said got more harsh and made me even more insecure. It wasn't until the sixth grade that I had my last surgery. It, too, was less than successful. And being that young, I thought, okay, I'm stuck being a freak forever. But I would have never looked at myself as a freak if it weren't for the people, like a guy I used to go to school with, who on homecoming night, when I was supposed to be ecstatic to be on homecoming court, made me walk out fighting back tears because he called me cock eyed Courtney in front of all of my friends. And to my surprise, they all busted out laughing. That night will stick with me for the rest of my life because that was the moment I realized that the things we say about people really do have an effect on them. Being on the other end of the mean looks and even worse words has made me stop and think before I ever say anything about anyone. Wayne Dyer once said, when you judge another, you do not define them. You define yourself. And I believe we have no right to make fun of others' misfortunes. And I continue to stand by that, while others choose to define themselves.